Semi-final number one, great friends, Joe against Ilya. That's what they call each other. And they've had a bet as well, a little sportsman's bet. If Joe loses, he has to grow his hair. If Ilya loses, that beard that he's been growing for six years will be gone. This is a great matchup for the semi-finals. You've both hit it well so far to get to this point. Anticipation high, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, we, we got to the semi-finals. There's no easy matches, um, you know, no matter where you are in the tournament. So, uh, expect to be a good match. Ilya, feeling confident? Good hits so far in qualification seeding and indeed tonight? Well, I'm playing against the King of Long Drive, so I hope I'll be the Kingslayer tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, hopefully, this is going to be fun to watch. So Joe, as the highest ranked player, gets to choose whether he goes first or second. And uh, Lee Cox, who's Joe Miller's coach, that's a tactic he always employs. Oh, always, yeah. I, I'm never sure I'd uh, employ it. I'd like to put a target out, but Joe's always done it that way. He likes to know the number he's got to get, and, you know, he's been successful over many years. So Ilya Djurdovic, he's up first. He's got a very elegant swing for a long driver, hasn't he, Lee? Well, he's a blend. I mean, he's a long driver and he's a professional back in his home country. Very, very good player. We can, you know, you can see from the slow motion here, this is a long driver's and a pro swing. He's got that magic, magic change of direction. Posted a number here, 371. Um, lovely shot to start off with. I see he's got a really wide takeaway. Is, is this another uh, tactic tip for a long driver? Well, it's probably a bit um, uh, of a preference for him. He goes wide and then gets narrow on the way down. So he, he gets a lovely downswing position. That's probably just his own preference there. But um, a very good player, as I said. And, and not physically as big as Joe Miller, but technically he's very sound, as you've alluded to. Yeah, uh, I've been watching him today. I've never seen him swing it as good or hit it as good. He got to this semi-final here today and uh, it's something that the people at home can look at. I mean, he, he's dominated today on the basis of how well he's hit the ball. He's just middled it, he just hit lovely, lovely golf shots. And we're seeing because of the hard ground, he's had his last couple of shots just sneaking off of the grid, but he's still really striking the ball well. Yeah, uh, the ball's got to stay in the grid, even if it bounces out and goes back in, it, it, it's out. Um, I think this is in though. This is a good one. This looks very straight. He, after he hit it, he went to get his tee. Normally a good sign. Good numbers there as well. 140 mile an hour club head speed. To put that in perspective, the average guy on tour is 113. This is doing a lot on the floor as well. He's going to like this. That's a very good hit uh, for Ilya Djurdovic. Uh, they're giving Joe Miller something to think about. Yeah, uh, the last thing is a long driver you want to do is OB the grid. You want to give the other man something to work for. He hasn't quite liked that, but he has put a number up for Joe to chase. And again, we just get another chance to look at this lovely, elegant swing and that, that lovely change of direction. And the, the hips and those shoulders just separate. What a, a lovely move. Ali, just for someone that's never been uh, to a long drive, uh, competition. How wide is the grid compared to an average fairway? Well, it can it can vary a little bit, but it can be up to Three, sort of 50, 35 wide. to 50 yards wide. However, at 400 yards, that only plays 15 yards wide, so it's not as wide as you think. Okay, so Joe Miller, former world champion, up here now in this first of two semi-finals. 404 yards is the number to beat. Well within his capabilities, though, Lee. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's been swinging it lovely at the moment. Uh, it can get a little bit long, as we'll see in a couple of slow motions, but his, his delivery and swing has been excellent in the last few weeks. He'll fancy this number, and that looks seriously That's good. beautiful. 150 miles an hour club head speed. Well, not just that, uh, matching that with the ball speed at 214. They're using hard playing balls. They're not using rock hard, um, long drive balls, but that's really, really going to move down there. So tremendous club head speed. 150 mile an hour. I don't even think the plane that I take to IB for goes that fast. The, uh, he's matched it again. He's got 150 again. And when he's on this type of form, he's just filling up this grid as well. There he is, 416 yards. So he's already gone uh, past Ilya and he looks like he's got a good rhythm, good momentum going at the moment. He'll just build on this now. He's just going to push the pedal on this speed. There we go, 154, Ooh. 154. The number's going. Let's see what this does on the floor. Oh, the ground's perfect, but what a golf shot. Look at this number flying up on the left. 433 yards. He's driving long par fours at most, ball, most golf courses, Lee. He's pitching them on the green here. <laughs> oh, he's not big again. Joe Miller looking good for the final as it stands. Uh, what have you been working on through the winter? Well, uh, it's been a long journey, really, from uh, teaching him for many years. And now, if anything, we've been taking a little bit away. Um, just that swing of his gets a little bit long on the back. And we've really got his, uh, his ball flight and his numbers, his angle of attack and spin back. Another great number there. 
Um, so uh, a lot of what we've been doing in the last few weeks is getting the, this ball coming off the club perfectly for him. Just have enough time to hit one more. Lini doesn't like that one, but he has posted a big enough number for Ilya Djurdovic to have to beat and play his power ball. So the power ball is happening behind me, 433 yards from Joe Miller. That is the target Ilya Djurdovic has to beat. So here it goes. If that stays in the grid, it might be something. Pretty good golf shot. He's going to need something special on the floor, though. Calling for that sprinkler head. I'm not sure if there are any sprinkler heads in this grid. Just trickled out unlucky. He's come up short of that distance. Yeah. I think he'd be happy with his performance today, Ilya. He's, he's done himself proud. Best I've seen from him. Well, I gave him my best. Um, I didn't connect it the way I wanted, but it's Joe. He's the king of long draw, so I, I'm happy. <laughs> well, give it up for Ilya. But listen, Joe, just finally, you've got bigger every time from the qualifying up to the last 16 quarterfinals. You've gone bigger. You've gone bigger again in the semi. Are you expecting to go one bigger in the final and win this thing? Yeah, I'd like to. Obviously, going against these next two guys, and uh, Matt and Jay, um, you know, you're going to have to. So you know, I'll, I was happy when I hit the ball there. Um, you, you know, there's a, there's a few bounces out there you need to find, and uh, let's hope I find one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the winner. He's through to the final, Joe Miller. What a semi-final! Terrific sport, both those players. Well done to Joe and Ellie.